Hello everybody, welcome to part 5 on how to build your own solar panel. So I have my piece of glass, which is a 20 by 21 inch piece that we cut in the last video. And I have my frame here, which is still very sticky. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay the frame. I probably don't even need these gloves right now. I'm just going to go ahead and lay it down so the, the corner is just on the corner Whoops. and it's uh, nice and lined up. Alright, now that it's lined up, let's take a sharpie or whatever kind of instrument you want to measure or mark it off. Go ahead and mark off the, the edge of the glass there. I get this to come back up. There we go. And I'm not sure if you can see this now, but there's a mark there which is into this, and a mark there which is which marks right there. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this. I'm just gonna use a, a hacksaw. I have tried and uh, used a like a tin snips. You can cut this with tin snips or even a, a heavy pair of scissors. But the only thing to look out for is it will bend once you cut it. This is kind of a soft metal. I I believe it's aluminum, but I, I really don't know. I'm not an expert on uh, metals or anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead. This is going to be a little loud on this one, I'm not going Okay, so went ahead, cut the other side, and which leaves you uh, basically a, an L shape here. And scrap out of the way. So basically, I just like to lay this right on the glass. And which I hope you can see here. It pretty much sort of sticks to the glass, uh, but in the end, I will go along with a heat gun real quick and heat up the back, so it'll make it even more adhesive than it is now. Because you can still pull it off uh, with your fingers, but once you heat it up, it makes it a, little, a lot stickier. All right, so that leaves me with uh, pretty much looking like this. I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process. Lay this down and mark it off. Alright. Alright, so that's marked off. Once again, I'm going to spare you the noise and go ahead and cut that. Alright, I uh, went ahead, cut that out, just set it on the glass. And I have a nice metal frame, which will be the spacer the solar cells sit inside. And the next thing I'll be doing is using my heat gun, just going along the, the back here and heating up the gray stuff from the other side, and it'll make it uh, adhere to the glass really well. All right, go from there. Okay. 
Okay, I've gone ahead and heated up the back here. And because it's um, too hard to talk over this thing, I'll just show you what I did. Uh, basically, I have the heat gun going. And I definitely always wear safety goggles, I don't know if you can see that or not. And gloves on this one, just in case they, uh, the glass decides to break for some reason. So I just go ahead, heat up the gray, and just hold it for a few seconds. And just go along. And it, it adheres pretty quickly. Alright, so that's it for uh, number five. And number six, I'm going to go ahead and talk... Um, about vapor barriers for the solar cells. Um, I have quite a few uh, that I've been experimenting with and I'll show you each of those and figure out which one's better, easier, or cheaper for you. And one thing I realized I forgot to mention in one of my videos, the reason why I'm making uh, these solar panels this size. Well, I have two solar stands that I built about a year, year and a half ago. And they have the, the 15 watt Harbor Freight ones on there. I have seven on each stand. Uh, if I use uh, this panel, if it's any bigger, I can only fit three of these, uh, you know, three whole ones on the, the stand and I have a lot of room left over. But if I use for this size, I can fit them on there nicely and just have a, a little bit of space left on the end. I really don't want to go ahead and uh, redo the whole solar stand because they're 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 kind of a pain once you start tearing them apart and putting them back together. So if you don't have an issue with space like I do, you can really make these any size you want. Uh, but I'm just showing you uh, what works best for my application, and I, I hope it does help you. Alright, uh, as always, thanks for watching this video. Take care, and God bless.